Hi folks, uh, today myself again with the one more episode of the Supply Chain Show. Uh, in this episode, actually, I just want to thank for all of you who have subscribed, who has liked and commented on the channel, right? And as you've probably seen one of my shares on the LinkedIn right now, that SEM Dujo is number two in the supply chain niche for amongst the 60 different uh, supply chain channels. So Fieldspot has basically ranked as number two. Uh, I have about you know 20 odd uh, basically episodes. I basically release two to three times a month, not too frequently. But my genuine intention is to share the valuable content. I think one of the key success factors of uh, the SM Dujo YouTube channel uh, to be to be successful is my LinkedIn community and the community who follows me, who follows the supply chain content and they engage with the content, right? So this is the key topic here right now. And right now on LinkedIn, right, I have about 30, approximately 37,000 uh, followers um, on the LinkedIn, very engaged community. And I really enjoy interacting with, with all the followers and anybody who basically comment um, on, on this uh, content I share. So the LinkedIn journey was started actually three, four years ago. And one of my mentors, Amma Siddiqui, who is the guest of this uh, episode, basically gave me the roadmap and the pathway on how to be successful on LinkedIn. And I personally strongly recommend everybody to be on LinkedIn, interact, post original content. But I don't want to you know, uh, basically steal the show. Today, I have one of my dear mentors, uh, one of my very good friends, one of the most genuine and honest guy I've ever met in my in my life. Uh, he's a he's a he's a true coach, Amar Siddiqui. Uh, he's a LinkedIn expert. He's a career expert, and right now he's in Canada. Uh, so, Amar Bhai, thank you very much for joining. Uh, please, do you want to introduce yourself? Because I'm sure I missed a lot of accolades you have. Uh, so maybe you want to add uh, what? Uh, thank what you, thank you, Mudassar. And I always call you Doctor because you are Doctor Doctor Mudassar, and. Uh, uh, you know, all the appreciations for your hard work. Uh, and this is a great achievement indeed. Um, uh, you know, even number two is, the is one of the best, right? So it's like Hertz and Evis. So, you know, one of them would always be number two, uh, which is still great, you know. Um, so I really appreciate your uh, thanking me. Uh, I remember when we started talking about it, talking your branding on social media uh, uh, in uh, basically started with a, uh, with a conversation when you came from UK and we were sitting together and driving in Karachi. And that's the point when you started sharing your thoughts and uh, I started uh, sharing my thoughts on it at that time. Uh, I think uh, a lot of it was pretty, I would still say uh, decently vague. Let's, let's, let's be fair about it. Uh, you, but you had a clear idea of what you want to achieve, but the process was uh, uh, not that firm. Um, and when we subsequently started or kept talking, you know, whenever you were there or whenever we were talking on the phone, we actually started putting things into places. And this was the beauty. This, it's a lot of people work hard, but only a few work strategically. So you worked strategically. And uh, the way I say, you know, the, the, the buzzword these days is strategy in everything, right? Uh, and there are millions of uh, very complex uh, definition and explanation, explanation of what the strategy may be. And I try to put it very simply. You have to have a starting point. You know, this is where I am at the moment. And this is my goal. So let me just show. This is the starting point and there is camera. Oh, okay. So this is the goal, right? Starting point and the goal. And the, anything in between or the pathway to reach to your goal is a process. And the process is strategy. And you implemented everything. You had the starting point and you knew where you, are, you were at that moment in time. You had those small baby step milestones in between. You took all those milestones and obviously whatever little contribution I could make, my Charger has fallen down. Okay, uh, I don't want my laptop to go out of battery in between. So, so you you could actually put everything into places, into context, and implement it. There are millions and millions of ideas. So when we meet people, people like me who mentor people across the globe, wherever I was mentoring somebody in in, in Karachi like half half an hour ago. So I mean, we want to do something. 
but we lack that understanding of the whole process and perhaps people like me and uh, well i took i i spoke to various mentors for myself also i, I mean i treat you as my mentor you know sir anybody could be my my younger daughter could be my mentor also uh but mentor could help put your things into um a proper context and at the end of the day then it becomes your responsibility to implement those ideas so what i said you know you you did it and you you achieved it with all, with all stars um so so you know all the kudos to you no for all so that. i think it's it's not about me it's about you right so let's <laughs> let's 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 talk so, about you right okay now, so, so i let me know let me be let's move to the i want you just brief introduction because you you sure. worked on a very high level with a lot of social enterprise so yeah just just talk about that briefly you know your experience okay. is important to share right that. yeah so uh, i think um, putting everything into context for me also explaining what i i had been doing what i plan to do is still very interesting so i started uh, uh, my li- life you know i think i am a salesman i have been a salesman throughout my life uh, and a salesman carries various weights various responsibilities and various um, interesting features within that that category uh, mother says a great salesman salesman you know some of other people are great salesmen anybody who could actually share those ideas and thoughts and and could convince somebody to at least look at the blog or read a post or watch a video is uh the, the whole process is a salesmanship process so um, i uh, i lived and worked throughout my life in, in pakistan uh, but uh, uh traveled a lot so job related travel was extensive for me um initially i worked for so almost 17 years from 1990 to 2006 uh, with british deputy high commission trade to section as head of commercial operation and that gave me an, an interesting opportunity to to do to work with uh, Europeans and to work with the uh, very senior level entrepreneurs and corporate leaders um and ask my own understanding of how the corporate world works how the, all these jargons that we use work or don't work uh, in 2006 i was poached by a us international ngo or uh, center for international private enterprise that operates in about 60 countries and we, we are the only us chamber affiliated not for profit organization that works in that space um and that gave me an opportunity to travel uh, in whole of south asia work in turkey and iran uh, work in cambodia philippines uh, sri lanka pakistan bangladesh nepal uh, papua new guinea and work on projects that a uh, lot of people don't even consider as as a domain so i worked with women chambers i worked with the city chambers think tanks uh a uh, young entrepreneurs uh on on various issues which are which were related to uh, bringing them into policy space uh, so all that gave me a lot of insights to how things work how diversity and inclusion and all those jargons and terminologies that west uses actually what does it mean what is empathy and how people work in very difficult difficult and very very challenging environment environments uh, and how you can make the most of what you have at any given point in time this is something that i had been doing uh, as a profession but on the sidelines i was doing mentoring and coaching and and writing and and, and all sorts of those things uh, wherever i was invited to and working with young people people who were really interested in excelling their careers was one of the key things that i was doing about 4 years ago i started looking at linkedin as a platform um to to explore so i started exploring linkedin at that time uh in that part of the world in south asia very few people look at linkedin as a place to grow um and i started so i was the first person who actually developed a training program in pakistan which is the second largest country in 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 south asia and delivered the training program pro bono for national cubation center american corners at various universities telling young people how they can use linkedin uh, to excel their careers uh when i decided to move to canada which uh, we initially uh, did in like 20 years ago me and my wife but only a couple of years ago we thought you know we we were we really wanted to go back because i have a family here and my kids were going up and they wanted to go to university here 
that was one thing that I I thought that I would be doing when I go there. So, uh, developing my own um, consultancy for LinkedIn profile optimization and career coaching was was the aim that I I had. And I when I came in again, that was an idea. I knew my starting point. I still don't know why what my end point will be, but there are certain milestones in between. Probably all those milestones are my my goals. to 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 be achieved and i started implementing the idea uh and this is how i'm building my linkedin profile optimization business and career coaching business in this part of the world right so since you're a good guy right and uh, you're one of the very generous people i know so i want to share i want you to share all your trade secrets here right, right. So i'm the, i'm just the, i'm i'm not joking as well so okay, let's that's start. fine <laughs> that's fine let's let's start with the f- one very basic question see uh, again I, i want you to focus i know as a supply chain as a professional would no be it would not be any different to any finance as a you know, finance function or marketing so why any of the supply chain professionals or in professionals in general should be on linkedin so what's in it for them and again uh, as one benefit is is, a, is very clear you are here to find jobs and 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 network but i think you you have a much better and deeper understanding of this right so i would like to share that part sure. all right no that that's, that's absolutely fine uh, uh, so so let me just start with uh, with something that i i i, I preach everybody uh, remember free has no value in life free has no free means zero value Mm-hmm. and this is something that i have adopted from uh, set garden you know one of the most revolutionary marketers of the modern time free has no value uh if you google there is maybe a million articles on how do you optimize linkedin profile how do you use linkedin profile if you look at youtube you will prof- you will probably find several hundred thousand videos on the topic all these experts are providing you information but they are not providing you how do you achieve it to certain level they do because it is not that simple and at the end of the day they need people to come to them and take their services the difference between them and uh, and uh, and my approach is that i would like to give everybody everything every everything to everybody all the idea the whole the holistic concept but at the end of the day not everybody has the capacity or the time to implement the whole thing and that's the point when they can come to me and take uh, what i call a one on one level co- coaching so the difference between them and me is uh, i start with a goal setting which is one on one the way we are doing at the moment and at the end of the project there is a 30 minutes coaching individual co- coaching not a webinar coaching for that targeted person so that's the difference now coming to the point uh, for for supply chain people now supply chain is perhaps one of the fastest evolving industry particularly post covid things have completely sort of the word change probably a small word completely upside down for supply chain people because the crisis uh, like situation i think healthcare and supply chain people played the vital role in keep things going uh, keep feeding people keep providing supplies to the hospitals and all that those kind of things there's a huge demand but frankly speaking if mudassir does not write a blog or mudassir does not have a channel or mudassir does not have 35 36 people or people following him on linkedin who would know what i said only me who is not that relevant or maybe his family or maybe his father who plays cricket with him and uh, maybe his company where he works right now this is the opportunity for all of us to show off to share our expertise to be known as subject matter experts in the in the market space 
there are people who consider themselves as introvert i think this introvert or extro, extrovert is uh, is a thing of past if you are on social media if you are on facebook if you are using instagram whatsapp if you have a profile on linkedin you are no more introvert it's just that you do not know how to use it so there are what i define as three different categories of people the first category you said mother sir very rightly people who are looking for jobs the second category is people like who are influencers like you and you know a bit of myself you know who try to influence people with their thought process uh, uh and help them think in a different direction and you know coach them and then the third category which is people who are selling services you know accountants lawyers immigration consultants they all are doing the same thing technically speaking it's just the three different categories they all need eyeballs to their profile people should look at their profile now if you are on linkedin and your profile is inactive then you technically don't exist there are about close to 670 million profiles on linkedin there may be couple of 100000 or maybe half a million profiles or maybe more within your field that you you, you spoke about supply chain management a profile which is inactive will be somewhere down towards the end of the stream nobody would look at it now if you want to learn if you want to learn if you want to progress you know it's like projecting yourself as people who should be, people should look at and linkedin provides you a very interesting opportunity to target that market that is looking for for content that you're producing you know so that you can you're 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 seen as a subject matter expert so for instance people talk to me and some people think that i am an immigration expert which is not true and legally in canada i cannot really advise on immigration uh related inquiries i can only tell people what my experience has been but people talk to me people talk to me about linkedin optimization they talk to me about job search strategies and so all that because they know that i can help them i have defined my profile in that way you have defined your profile as a subject matter expert on supply chain management that's why people are con- connecting with you that's why you may be getting recruiter calls or you may be getting uh, calling people you up for for some information or help or or some advice now if we ignore linkedin as a place or if we treat linkedin the way we treat our snapchat or facebook then you know linkedin will never help us going back to the point i kind of giving you the preamble the the, the world has shrunk shrunk in this this, this whole scenario world is coming very close to a point whereby uh, only subject matter expert will uh, uh, will matter rest of it will be irrelevant now if we are really want if we really want to be out there and be seen as people may not necessarily be looking for a job but people who could help people then the situation will be different uh, for supply chain people also you know they have the potential they have the expertise uh they can help and they can show off so linkedin is the platform to be uh, at this moment in time and in the future also um i mean i can go on on linkedin because i follow one of my favorites on linkedin andrew seaman uh who does uh, hashtag get hired um series on linkedin he works for linkedin and he runs a, a show every week and he writes about about what is happening now for those who are looking for job for instance he wrote a piece he interviewed a few people and he wrote a piece saying that most recruiters say that there are about 51 to 75% jobs are not advertised publicly these are the jobs that are available in hidden job market which is which sits at in linkedin so if you're not out there if you're if you if your profile is not optimized then you don't exist you will never be able to access or see those jobs so i can go on with the sir for yeah, for, yeah. For, so let's let's get to the business 
Yes. Not, okay, let's get to this. So, right. I've got a pen, pen and paper with me. I need you to give me top five tips. So, I don't know. I have a profile. Okay. As you said, four. I'm not active. I've not four. posted any content, right? Top four. Four. Four, okay. four things. Four I things. don't do odd numbers. Or I don't do odd, sorry, I don't do even numbers. I, I'm an odd number guy. So, maybe I can add one to make it five. Okay, right? f- so, f- okay five. I can add fifth. I mean, but... There are four Let's do four. Broader. Let's do four. Start with one. What no, is the I can thing? give you fifth also, but there are four broader categories of things that you should really be looking okay, at. Okay. Start with number one. Your branding. Your branding. I mean, look, can you turn your, your neck and see what's, what's behind you? What's behind you? Okay. Yeah. There's a picture. Okay. And there's a picture and there is a color and a text in it. Okay. Right. Right. Now, your LinkedIn profile's branding is really important. When I say branding, it's, it's the hook on LinkedIn. Now, most of the people, well, not everybody, but a lot of people that I see have uh, a blue background, which LinkedIn provides uh, as a default. They don't use it. Now, think about it. While LinkedIn has provided you um, a, a free space, a huge free space, when somebody lands on your profile, they the first thing they would see is that big blue space and the attention time attention time is spent for for people like you and me and those who are on on internet is about three to four seconds so where is the hook in this whole profile your branding is the hook now think about it and i i narrate this the, the way i narrate to everybody is you're driving on a uh, on a road and there are billboards around you what you see on these billboards is uh these three things a picture, a text, and color, or a combination of any of these three. So your profile should be a tagline, immediately grabbing attention of, of the visitor. Somebody right. who lands should know that this profile relates to... Now, within supply chain, I know there are f- several things that... No, I can, uh, I, can, I can give examples there, right? So that point is clear. So branding is number one, which has three things, which is a picture, text, and color. So I'm going to give you my example, right? So if you go to my profile, you will see a picture with the four boxes, which says people process system execution. I could have anything if I wanted, literally anything, right? But the, that, so that quadrant of four texts and color, that is my brand. Because I always believe, you know, on, on people development, designing the processes, best practices, you know, focus on using the system to the maximum and the possibility uh, or limitation it has and focus on a huge amount of execution. So that is that banner is my brand, which is again, I did that post the feedback from Hamad. Right. And or maybe look at my profile because my profile is, is what I do. I do LinkedIn profile pro and that's what it is. I mean, I put in my logo there. So yeah. people come in and they will see LinkedIn. I mean, right. this is the hook. Let's this move on. Hook. Number two. Right. The, number two is your picture. Yeah, your mug shot, short as we, as we call it in in, in the UK. Right. Now your picture, uh, and there could be any funny picture that it, I mean, uh, because I see so many profiles every day with the people requesting to evaluate or, or or optimize their profile, from selfies to picture with their girlfriends and wives, picture with their dogs <laughs> and cats. You you can see anything, but you know it's a professional platform and LinkedIn has provided you some guidelines. If we don't follow those guidelines, I mean, in your profession, if you don't follow the guidelines, uh, the whole supply chain will fall apart, right? Yeah. So LinkedIn has provided you certain guidelines, which does not say that you have to be in a suit, but you should be looking straight into the camera. It should be uh, a nice light around you. It should not be too from too far. And it's a very small space. So, it's, you know, your image, your face is the most important thing in that space. So what's behind is irrelevant. So if you are, if you are, if there's a chandelier there, that's this distraction. So, you know, just focus on how nicely can you capture your own self. And with, with now, I mean, you don't have to go to a photographer to get it done because now even cell phone cameras are very powerful. Uh, your 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 friend or your kid or your your wife could take a nice picture and take several and you know just pick the best one with high resolution. Okay, that's number two. Done. Number three. No, number three is your headline. Headline is uh, where you write 
or normally people write their title well a lot of a lot of people will i see so people like uh, a deputy director supply chain at alfatam for instance now what people don't realize is that this is for searchability of your profile your linkedin headline plays the most important role the vital role you so so consider linkedin uh, and this is something that I, i missed during the course of our discussion linkedin is not your cv posting site it's it's a search engine when you call search engine this means that people come in and people search for content for people for for relevant information and they do it in the search bar so people go in the search bar and they would write supply chain management expert for instance or um, uh, warehouse fulfillment manager or something of that sort what linkedin does is the similar thing that google does for you so if you're looking for a cell phone you go best cell phone in the market and you get a list of reviews and products which you go through and and pick one uh now fast forward coming back to your linkedin profile your headline if you put in your title in that headline if your title is not relevant so there are there are some people called supply chain manager in some instances supply chain manager is too vague of a title you know can we be more targeted so for supply chain you know you are you a fulfillment manager or i mean there could be so many other things within with the supply chain area that you can you can look at and try to work around those and put those keywords in a very careful manner uh depending on your profile strength you're looking at about 120 characters to put in approximately so make the best use of of this space because this is the space which will help your profile in the search first thing that uh that would trigger search is going to be your head, headline prof, headline uh, headline keywords so keywords right. are very important so i want to i want to again give you example of of my my experience so again same advice i have taken on the headline and if you see right now after this advice i've written like keywords like uh, a blogger or a speaker you know or yes. you know as what advice or consultant whatever so so i've written those words so i now when somebody search about for example supply chain speaker i i'm assuming actually i'm not sure actually no i have examples that few people have contacted me from after searching on linkedin this is exactly what uh, amad bhai is talking about that if you write what you want to get search so again example if you're looking for for example a job of a demand planner then just write demand forecasting expert or demand planning expert for example yes. right if you're looking for a job of a, a logistics director then just write logistics director not a general supply chain so that's a that's a very good advice but amad bhai have a question on this i have seen some people writing this crazy uh, okay it depends on crazy or not it's um, writing stuff like chief heart officer right or the head of making people happy is you know stuff like that i mean what's the point absolutely no point i mean uh, these things are or things like i'm open for new opportunities i'm looking for a job in your headline is waste of space nobody is going to search that i mean the thing is with me whatever ob- the objective is that people should search and we should be able to appear in that search right right uh that is the objective so so there's a difference or there's a line between one has to draw a line between what we desire and what we actually should put in so that our profile uh uh profile's value in us uh, get announced also cool uh so people people write statements uh i can drive sales worth of half a million dollar that's fine but no nobody is going to search for a salesman who is going to drive drive sales worth of half a million dollar people are looking for salesman right or some more specific into a, maybe a real estate salesman or a, or an automobile salesman so we have to be very specific and targeted uh you know when we are we are, we are developing our headline and the way i do it based on of course uh, my client's requirement i actually work um uh, you know much deeper at a much deeper level and search 
the most searchable keywords in in those in that domain and um, as you rightly said you know uh, a demand runner could be one of the thing if you do that job and if you are looking for a job in that particular field but logistics director is something which is still you know it could be a logistic director which is a title but there could be something else associated with logistics uh, and then another thing is terminology some people use terminologies which are not, not relevant to a specific market i can give you an example so if you come to uh, so if when you are in south asia uh or maybe i think in, in middle east also there is a terminology that we use which is called fmcg fast moving consumer goods when you come here and you talk about fmcg nobody knows what F- fmcg is it's cpg consumer packaged goods so if you are an expert on uh, supply chain within fmcg sector and you say i am an expert and you're looking for a job in this part of the world and say uh, supply chain expert in fmcg nobody would know what fmcg is so uh, this is all uh, you know that's why you need uh, at times you need uh, somebody to work with you on your profile okay done so uh, number 4 number 4 is your content content is the king you know this i know that right um uh, if you have a profile so link your linkedin profile uh needs feed 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 food and the food for your linkedin profile is your content uh you can like 500 posts a day but your profile will not get traction if you write content your profile will get traction so content means you either you're posting yourself or you're commenting on someone else's post logical comments not very small like uh bitsy things i would say you know great nice uh perfect is insufficient comment you have to be logically putting in a comment which makes some logic uh which shows that you are interested now linkedin uh, linkedin actually is is fantastic in artificial intelligence and the way they 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 kind of building up everything they really want to focus on people who are active rest of them is is useless not everybody gets the opportunity uh, t- uh to work on linkedin premium because linkedin premium um uh, is expensive right but those who are active linkedin offers linkedin premium to them uh, for a month for free they would if they cancel they would again get an offer to do something right because this is this is where linkedin yeah, is making money that, that is absolutely correct so right now on i'm on my fourth free premium this yes. month yeah and more you grow your linkedin profile uh, more opportunity you would get but my question is this was the fifth point that i wanted to to add about premium right because you wanted five points even numbers odd numbers so your content is really important but again people say you know how would i write that much content and what the content should be so to be able to uh, to be able to strengthen your linkedin profile and be seen out there as a subject matter expert you have to be relevant relevance uh, uh adding value being relevant and being frequent is are the three key things three uh three pillars for your success uh, uh on linkedin you know particularly if i'm talking about the content point of view now content can be anything it could be infographics it could be your text it could be somebody else's text it could be short videos it could be a picture the key point is here is uh if you're sharing somebody else's post as you know we read a post and we share button and you know it appears on my on our profile that does not make any difference linkedin do not want people to leave linkedin to read something so what you need is you have to embed everything into your post so it should look as if you're and you can still cite that from where you got it but if you if you if you embed a link which takes you, takes a visitor out of linkedin your profile your particular content will be marked at the bottom in uh, in linkedin's uh, uh, logarithm uh, so and there could be any mix of things uh, we can experiment so i have experiment with i experiment with everything i experiment with text pictures images quotes uh, my videos so i do what i call is 90 seconds with hamad 
No, Quite yeah. Right. So I just want to add one more one more thing here because actually I I've told you this. So what we need to do is to yes. keep an eye on the LinkedIn new features they are coming up, right? So I mean, when they two years ago, when I think there was hardly any video, so they were start promoting a lot of video content from people. So they went live, etc., right? And then they realize actually people uh, are staying there, but LinkedIn is not making money because they can't put an advertisement in. So I mean, LinkedIn, like any other social media platform. they want to make money so they need to see where they make money most where, where they make money most is by you know people posting jobs or they basically using the linkedin pro services or buying courses and stuff so this is what they they're trying to promote right now then i think they started the articles went down in uh, organic search and recently they have start doing they they call it linkedin polls and stuff so you can you can use them for example so keep an eye on the the new features uh linkedin is doing use them and share content right so just to summarize i know it's peep is going to be long episode the you fifth, can talk the fifth the fifth one yeah the fifth premium. one premium 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 yes don't use it use premium don't use it don't use it okay don't subscribe to it you know why only subscribe to it if you know that you're going to use it otherwise you're just giving them money it's not going to benefit it's not going to benefit you good uh have your profile um out there so the the way i uh, share it is it will take just one and a half minutes think about it you buy uh, you rent a very expensive shop in a very expensive mall and there is nothing to sell there is no inventory in that shop nobody is going to come and stop and look okay now it's the same thing if your profile is weak if your profile is not engaging if your content is not engaging if you're not doing all those five things four things that i i just shared with you you have a shop and and you know in the, and you you buy a linkedin premium what you're doing you're buying a very expensive shop which is about 3 400 dollars a year in an expensive place but you have nothing in the shop to share so don't do it uh only if you think you will use it then go for premium otherwise you know uh, use freemium what we what we are using you know mudassar and myself no that is correct so just to summarize number one is branding you get your own personal branding right have a nice picture taken not with dogs ideally that's a good advice the second one is the uh, you know we need to post a uh, you know i have a nice headline headline is basically the the keywords you want to be searched as you know whatever you want to be searched as that should be your keywords in your headline with the limited whatever word space you have so so look into your cv identify the, your best quality your key skills and i would say very simply just put those your key skills on your on your headline the third is put the relevant content not not any content there's no point sharing uh, sharing bad jokes if you're a good one by all means do that but uh, Uh, but do not post a relevant joke so for example if you want to become for uh, you know uh, become an expert on strategic sourcing then keep posting content on strategic sourcing and i can assure you that either recruiters or your clients or whoever is looking for that content will find you right so that's the very very nice advice and the fifth one which i forced them him to give do not subscribe to linkedin premium unless they give you for free so this no, is unless I, you know that it will it's going to value you is a value you okay you're going to value there's some benefit because you are premium you can do some free courses but yeah. but i don't think linkedin courses are very good so if you want good courses you can come and talk to me and we're going to create you this is what we're going to do in sm dujo there's a oh, course for me hmm? for for career coaching yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> and like this so you go so, to specialist if you know Cool, cool. So I think we're gonna create more. It depends. Um, I'm hoping that we're gonna get good feedback for this video, um, and and we will be working with the with Hamas Deki more in terms of creating some valuable content, especially on career coaching, right? So he has a, a human uh, and a huge experience, uh, a very generous heart, and I think the advice I can tell you this, folks, right now, there's a very famous saying. Um, one of my grandma told me that you know. talking to an expert or uh, on in a specific field is like reading equal to 10 books and i can show you that this 30 minutes or 35 minutes of hamas siddiqui has actually saved you reading 
you know one book of 300 pages right so that is for sure uh, hamad bhai any last words uh, uh the world has changed has changed i want to use the word changing it has changed and uh, the new normal will be a new normal which nobody knows how nobody knows how it's going to be it's going to be very different from what we uh, had seen until uh, december 2 2019 if we don't embrace the the the, uh, the reality if we don't uh, work with the reality we're going to miss uh, by miles we're going to miss the whole race by miles there will be smart people uh, smarter people who would do it before you uh, there is an opportunity there is less competition at the moment on linkedin so if you're out there and you're still waiting you may be wasting so you know don't wait just do it Okay so thank you very much sir for joining is always have been a pleasure talking to you and I don't remember an interaction with the Hamas Siddiqui which I have not learned anything so if you want to learn especially about your career career coaching personal branding linkedin profiling Hamas Siddiqui is your man right right so if you want a, a special service you just mention my name and I'm sure you will get it without it anyway 10% so, discount <laughs> 10% discount 10% for everybody discount. Discount. yeah you just mention my name you Mention, get 10% who discount. mentioned dr mudassir's name yeah there you absolutely go. there you go that's a, yeah. that's a, a very new way of 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 uh, affiliate marketing uh, so thank you for listening folks uh, the usual like share subscribe i appreciate your feedback leave your comments and as i say keep it simple and keep it real thank you for joining i'll see you in the next show take care bye bye so if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe and leave your comments below